what water is best for catfish hatching now this is a question most intending catfish hatchers are yet to get an answer to seven years ago i was asking myself this exact question and seven years after i can tell you that i have the answer to this particular question what water is best for catfish hatching before i answer this question I would like to take you back to seven years ago when I was still struggling to understand what type of water is actually good for catfish hatching. One of the challenges I was constantly facing was fry mortality at two weeks old after hatching. And this was, you know, something that was a stressful period for me. I'll have my hatching procedure and have 70 to 80 percent hatchability and after two weeks i'm having less than 10 percent survival you can imagine how you know terrible that experience was for me right this went on and on for two years due to my limited knowledge on the right water to use for catfish hatching i was majorly focused on just one parameter under the categories of water parameters required for successful catfish hatching and survival of my fries and this one parameter i was focusing on was the ph of the water now the quality of your water is one of the greatest determinants to having a successful catfish hatching procedure and what eventual survival of your fries after hatching because once your water is not quality, then all this I've stated will not be possible. So I need you to have this at the back of your mind. There are three key categories of water parameters that you have to ascertain before carrying out your catfish hatching procedure. These categories are as follows. One, we have the physical parameters. Two, the chemical parameters. And lastly, we have the biological parameters parameters now let's talk about the physical parameters when we talk about the physical parameters we're simply talking about the physical appearance of the water now as we're growing up we're taught that our water has to be colorless odorless and tasteless right so a water that is colorless odorless and tasteless is what ideal for catfish hatching remember this is still the physical parameters so when you see a water like this of course this is not ideal because of course this water is pigmented is greenish right and then it has color it has you know some level of odor in it and definitely it's going to have a level of you know funny taste of course i'm not going to taste it if you have this on your farm don't go and taste it though so when we talk about colorless odorless and tasteless we have a sample here that you can see the water in our pond here is colorless odorless and tasteless okay this water is ideal for catfish hatching also under the physical parameters we are going to talk about the temperature of your water now the ideal temperature for catfish hatching is 25 degrees centigrade to 32 degrees centigrade remember i said temperature of water not the atmospheric temperature so have that in mind now the second parameter we're going to be talking about is the biological parameter now when we talk about the biological parameter we are simply talking about the microbial load in your water we simply want to know if there is bacterial load in your water virus or protozoa in your water and when all these are present in your water this poses a lot of threat to your fries and this can lead to what high rate of mortality at one week old two weeks or that at any stage at all so when this is present in your water it can hugely affect the survival of your fries so you have to ensure that your water contains no form of bacterial load at all and this bacteria or microbial load cannot be seen with your naked eyes of course we are going to talk more about how to test for your water quality so but for now we're talking about the biological parameters which is what the microbial load in your water and having microbial load in your water is very very much harmful to your fries 
now the last parameter we're going to be talking about is the chemical parameters of water this is simply talking about every chemical that is present in your water you know the ions and so many others so examples of the parameters under the chemical parameters that you should be checking out for are one the ph the total hardness of your water the calcium level the magnesium level of your water nitrite ammonia iron chlorine and so many others like that that are very very important that you need to check out for so you can see that it is not just the ph i've mentioned the total hardness i've mentioned the calcium magnesium nitrite ammonia chlorine iron and others right so ph is not the only important parameter to test for when you want to carry out your hatching procedure now let us talk about how to determine if your water is quality or not now there are two methods to determine the quality of your water number one is the laboratory analysis now I advise everyone going into catfish hatching to carry out your comprehensive laboratory analysis first now you take a sample of your water to a laboratory and you tell them to run a microbial analysis and what a chemical analysis on your water okay so this is the first step that you have to carry out so the laboratory analysis is a very comprehensive test that is done to give you what the exact picture or state of your water at that point in time okay so it is very very important you carry this out now i need you to know that without the laboratory analysis you cannot ascertain your microbial load in the water or you cannot ascertain the biological parameters of your water so the first thing you should do before going into catfish hatching at all is to what take your water to the lab remember i said laboratory analysis is one of the ways to determine your water quality now the second way you can determine your water quality is by carrying out what we call self-analysis self-analysis simply means you're using several test kits to test your water now for the self-analysis you can only test for your chemical parameters and i'm going to be showing you briefly some of the test kits that you can use on your farm to test your water and determine what the chemical parameters of your water okay now these are some of the um, test kits that you can use to test for your chemical what parameters of your water here we have what we call a ph test reagent this is only used to test for the ph of your water you cannot use it to test for any other thing aside the ph so this is what it looks like right so you are going to be putting your water sample here and testing for the ph this and this works the same way so let us open this up and you see it as well and then we can quickly do a you know test or a quick sample so it comes like this and then you can see the chat okay so whatever color you're getting after using this reagent is going to determine the ph of your water so let me quickly get a sample of water and then we'll come back and test it so following the instructions i'm going to take five ml of water five ml of water this water is not treated so this is five ml of water and based on the instructions by the manufacturer of this i'm meant to use three drops of this reagent just three drops one two three okay and then after that i'm supposed to shake it after shaking it i'm going to check it against the chart that has been given here all right so this is the chart here so what is the ph of the water what i'm getting here is orange in color 
so it's between 5.5 to 6 and this ph is not ideal for hatching the ideal ph for hatching is 6.5 to 8.5 so this tells us that our water needs some level of correction which you would have to do okay and we're going to talk more about that here we have tds and connectivity meter this is to test for the total dissolved solid and what the um, conductivity of your water so that's the conductivity is simply going to talk about you know the salinity of your water as well then here we have a ph meter this is also to test for your ph but this comes in meter form all you need to do is to pull it out and dip in your water and once the reading stops you stop what taking the measurement okay and then you dry that out and here we have what we call the test strip now this test strip is very powerful because it can test for more than one chemical parameter this can test for several chemical parameters and i would advise anybody who wants to get a test kit to go for this because with this you can test for your nitrates you can test for nitrite chlorine the total hardness the total alkalinity you can test for carbonate you can test for ph okay so you can basically test for seven water parameters all you need to do is to open this up and you know you pick out one strip you pick out one strip like so and then you dip it into your water okay you dip it into your water follow the instructions on the pack and then you what read it against the chart they provided so you read it against the chart that is provided on this pack okay so this is very very handy and it contains a total of 100 strips so you can always what get this and of course we have this available for sale for retail is 20,000 naira for one piece for sale minimum of four pieces and that is at 15,000 naira each and note delivery is nationwide send a message to the number on your screen on whatsapp to get this to you now we've talked about you know taking your water to the lab and carrying out self-analysis as well now in a situation whereby after carrying out all these tests your water result comes out that it is not fit for catfish hatching what do you do in that situation all you have to do is to correct your water okay and there are various ways you can correct your water of course i'm going to be showing you a you know sample of a water correcting system here so that you can also you know have that in mind in case your water is not fit for catfish hatching so right here we have our water treatment cylinder now in this treatment cylinder we have various water treatment medias that we use to correct different parameters in the water because after testing our water in the lab we realize that there are certain you know parameters in the water that are not okay and we needed to take what the next step to correcting it and that is why we have this here now right here is our water treatment plant and it contains various water treatment media that tackles specific water issues now for you to understand how to set this up you, you of course need to you know undergo the training on how to what set this up and of course the farm lady aquatics render physical training on how to what properly correct your water our last batch of students are doing so well they came in for their training in april and we're going to be having our next batch of training in june and mind you the seats are limited because we do not want a situation whereby you're not understanding what is being taught so it's going to be a hands-on training practical section where you're going to be learning everything that has to do with correcting your water you know ensuring you're getting the best so as to ensure your fish hatch out well and have a what high percentage survival so if you know you're interested the next batch is in june 
send a message to the number on whatsapp now on the screen the training fee is 320,000 naira for any registration late registration is 350,000 naira and we cannot wait to see you in class come and learn how to correct your water and you know start making money in this catfish farming business okay now we've come to the end of the video for the day what water is best for catfish hatching we've talked about everything that you need to know you know the parameters how to test for your water how to correct your water of course for correction of water you need to undergo certain level of training which i already highlighted earlier our training is coming up next month june three twenty thousand naira for early registration three fifty thousand naira for late registration for those who are going to need you know our water test trip as well this is available at retail and wholesale price send a message to the number on your screen on whatsapp so as to get yours if this is your first time of coming across this channel make sure you smash on that subscribe button Turn on your post notification bell so as to get notified whenever we post a new video. Give this video a huge thumbs up. For existing family members, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and drop a comment below. Do not forget to share to your family and friends. We can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye for now.